Hi, I'm Gina Kunath with iCom America. I'm going to show you some of our advanced features of our iCom M304 VHF FM radio and how it makes voting safer by utilizing Digital Selective Calling, or DSC. Here you see the M304 interface with the standard GPS receiver. And you can tell that this is a DSC compliant radio because of the distinctive red button marked Distress. So what is Digital Selective Calling? Digital Selective Calling is a digital communications technology that enables this radio to send voice messages on the traditional VHF channels as well as data or digital transmissions on VHF channel 70. This radio has been programmed with a 9-digit Maritime Mobile Service Identity or MMSI number so that the radio functions more like a telephone. A caller who knows my MMSI number can dial this radio directly and the unit sounds an alarm that tells me someone is trying to call. If I'm not standing by the radio, the unit stores the message for future reference. If I'm going to make a call and I know my party's nine digit MMSI number, I don't have to hail them on channel 16 anymore. I just punch in their MMSI number or select it from the radio's memory and I send them a digital message on channel 70. I designate the working channel I want them to respond on, and after they acknowledge my digital message, both radios automatically switch to the working channel and we start talking. It sure makes using marine radios easier and makes our conversations more private, but the best part about digital selective calling is the way it has improved the process of calling for help in a marine emergency. Again, this M304 radio is interfaced with a GPS receiver, so it gets constant updates of my position and the time that that position was valid. When I issue a digital distress message by pressing and holding this distress button for five seconds, my message goes directly to the Coast Guard shore station and includes my MMSI identity and my position. If I have time, I can even designate the nature of my distress so search and rescue authorities instantly know who I am, where I am, and what my problem is. Not only does the Coast Guard receive my message, so do all the other DSC equipped vessels in my vicinity. It dramatically increases the speed and reliability with which my distress message is received and time saves lives in search and rescue operations. The Coast Guard has modernized its National Distress Response System, or NDRS, by installing a new system of high towers and receiving stations that are specifically designed to improve the agency's listening power and its ability to hear DSC distress alerts. Called Rescue 21, this system is the Marine counterpart of the Shoreside 911 system. Except in a few Alaskan waters where cell phones are still approved for use, the U.S. Coast Guard has specifically asked the boating public not to use their star CG features available on some cell phones. Here's a direct quote from that October 2006 U.S. Coast Guard press release. Mariners are encouraged to invest in a VHF FM radio as their primary means of distress alerting on the water. Communication via VHF FM radio provides superior alerting capabilities over cell phones. Marine VHF radio operates on what is called the line of sight. That means your signal carries about as far as you can see. VHF transmissions do not bend around the earth. Whether you are transmitting or receiving voice or data, your message carries about 25 miles depending on factors like weather conditions, how tall your antenna is, and how much power you are using to transmit with. An ICOM fixed mount VHF like this M304 offers more than enough power to get the job done. Keep in mind that you have to take three essential steps in order to take advantage of the advanced features of your DSC radio. First, you have to obtain your MMSI number and have it programmed into the radio unit. Visit the Coast Guard website for more information or go straight to the Boat US or CETO websites and log on to get your MMSI number for US waters. It's a simple process and you obtain your personal nine-digit MMSI number within minutes. For travel outside the US waters, you must receive your MMSI number directly from the FCC. This process is a little more complex to follow, but it will get you a number that the international marine industry will recognize. 
After receiving your MMSI number, your second step is to program that number into your radio. Your ICOM dealer can help you do this. Third, you have to interface your radio with the GPS receiver. When you take these three steps, your digital distress message includes your MMSI identity, your lat long position, and the time that that position was valid. If you're ever in trouble, you'll be glad you've taken these few steps to sign up for this life-saving service. You can find out more about our ICOM M304 radio and where to find an authorized ICOM dealer by logging onto our website. Thanks for watching.